Now let's look at the phone itself. I'm gonna take it, there's already dust on it. <laughs> Too much dust down here. <laughs> Good enough. What's up YouTube, it's your boy. BMAC. And today is a very different day because I'm unboxing something I probably never expected to be unboxing. Today we are unboxing the iPhone 8 64 gig gold version. Now, why am I unboxing this? This is the complete opposite phone compared to my iPhone 10, which I unboxed on this channel a couple weeks ago. So not only is it a smaller size phone, it's not the 8 plus, it's just the regular iPhone 8. It's 64 gigs, but to top all that off, it's gold. I would never get this color. Those of you who watch the channel know I'm all about that matte black. They call it gold, but it really does look like rose gold when you look at it. it has a definite pink connotation i mean even the box itself makes it look oh it's, it's rose gold but no they call it gold it's it's the gold iphone so anyway this is actually my sister's phone she was kind enough to let me unbox it for the video let's unbox it quick little look at the box you have your iphone logo on both sides there and that's what i'm talking about right there it looks rose gold it looks pink it definitely that's not that's not gold interesting how apple went with gold instead of rose gold apple logo on top Apple logo on bottom. And then of course, this is the back view of what the actual iPhone itself looks like. Flip it over, you have this nice little pull tab so we don't even have to use an unboxing knife anymore. Just tab it open. Here we go. Simple enough. Take it out. And here we go, the big reveal. Designed by Apple in California. I feel like every Apple product I've unboxed in this video, like I expect to see the product as soon as I take the box off. Here, underneath this, will be the phone itself. So ready? One, two. There it is. The rose, <laughs> see I'm gonna call it rose gold. The gold version of the iPhone 8. Before we get to the phone itself, in this little packet, this is just your quick start guide. You get your Apple stickers, of course, need those. And then in case for whatever reason you didn't know how to start the iPhone and actually start using it, you get a nice little quick start guide which explains the buttons and how to charge it and all that. So that comes in this little packet, pre-packet before the phone. We'll put those back, move those to the side. Now let's look at the phone itself. I'm gonna take it, there's already dust on it. <laughs> Too much dust down here. <laughs> Good enough. Here we go, ready? Boom, the gold iPhone 8. Talk about what else comes in the box. Of course, you have your wall adapter for the USB cord so you can actually charge your phone. The iPhone 8, whether it's the plus size or the regular size, is capable of wireless charging, hence the glass back that we have here on the iPhone 8 now. So you can wirelessly charge with your iPhone 8. It does not come with a wireless charger in the box. But of course, Apple wouldn't give you an iPhone without a way to actually charge it. So that's where you get your wall adapter and of course your USB cord, which is underneath the ear pods. So you have those two accessories and then of course you have your little dongle here which is important. Don't forget about this. This is on the back of your actual AirPods. This is what you're going to need to use to use headphones with the iPhone 8 because you're going to plug this in to the lightning port on the bottom. And then you have your little dongle here which is just your typical 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now we could use whatever headphones you want with the iPhone 8 because of course ever since the iPhone 7 Apple did away with the headphone jack on the phone itself. If you open these up these are special ear pods because the bottom of it actually is already a lightning cable so you could just use these directly in your iPhone 8 without the need for the dongle. So if you want to use any other pair of headphones use the dongle otherwise you can use the ear pods that come with your iPhone 8 without the dongle without a problem. Comes with your ear pods, your USB to lightning cable, wall adapter, your headphone dongle. What a funny word, dongle. And then of course the iPhone 8 itself, which is the main feature of this unboxing video. So let's take a closer look at that. Of course on the regular size of the iPhone, you only get that one camera. You have this nice glass back, which we'll take a closer look at once we take this off in a second. Flip it over and then it's very similar in look to your iPhone 7 with just the regular layout. You have this haptic feedback home button here. So it's like a digital home button, not an actual mechanical home button. You have your backlit display here on the front, your front facing camera. Let's get these things out of the way. We're gonna take the cellophane off of this phone, flip it over. It's sleek. Now, personally, with any iPhone I get, I always throw a case on it. On my iPhone 10, I actually have like a skin type of case. More information on my entire iPhone setup can be found in the video description box below. What case I use, what accessories I use, what phone I use, all that in the video description box below, so be sure to check that out. The point is, I always use a case, so even though the phone itself looks so unbelievably sexy, no matter what iPhone it is, without 
a case on it. Unfortunately, I'm always covering it up with a case because you got to protect it. I mean, these things are not inexpensive these days, but in this moment when we're unboxing the phone, it is nice to look at it in all of its beauty without a case because it's like the last time you'll ever see it like this. But the back is very nice, very sleek. I know a lot of people don't necessarily like the glass back on the iPhones. Some people are like, oh great, yeah, glass back. Just another thing to have to replace if you drop your phone and it shatters. Yes, but we wanted wireless charging. You cannot have an iPhone without a glass back if you want wireless charging simply because of the way wireless charging technology works. It feels great in your hand, feels very sleek. The glass is a nice addition. It's very rounded on the sides. This is rose gold. This is not gold. Look at that. That is, those, those are pink undertones. This is not gold either. That's definitely rose gold. Consider the gold version of the iPhone 8 a rose gold iPhone because it is the furthest thing well, not the furthest thing. It is definitely not just gold. Definitely is a slight pinkish hue to the gold. It is what it is. We'll turn it on quickly. We do that just by holding the side button here. Boom, lights up. At this point, you would set up your entire iPhone. The screen looks good, very bright. Doesn't look quite as good as the OLED display on the iPhone 10. I will say that right off the bat. The contrast is much different. I mean, it, it's good. It's a very good screen, but that OLED display, just not necessarily just on the iPhone 10, on any piece of technology, any monitor, any phone, OLED technology just makes an unbelievable difference because of that insane contrast ratio. So just a little quick comparison because everyone knows I personally use the iPhone 10. This is going to be the iPhone 8 for my sister. They are kind of similar in size, not based off a of screen size, but just on physical size itself. If we turn it over, and I did this in my iPhone 10 unboxing video comparison like this to show that <laughs> physically, they are not that different. The iPhone 10 is by no means a plus size phone. The difference is you have that top to bottom screen, that edge to edge screen, which you don't have on this phone, on the iPhone 8. But anyway, this is just a quick little side by side comparison, comparing the iPhone 8 to the iPhone 10 for the screen size, physical size, all that. You see the difference in the cameras on the back there. For a more detailed comparison when it comes to size and screen size with the iPhone 10 compared to the other iPhones, you can check out my iPhone 10 unboxing video and my iPhone 10 review video, both of which go into much more detail about the iPhone 10 and comparing it to the other iPhone models that are currently available. That's pretty much all there is to the iPhone 8 unboxing. It's just, you know, it's an upgrade from the iPhone 7. It's nice. I like it. I think my sister's going to love it. I'm going to hand this off to her now so she could set it up. But for those of you who don't want a plus size phone, but you do want a little beast of a phone packed into something that easily fits into your palm or your pocket, it is not to be underestimated the power that the iPhone 8 can pack. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the iPhone 8. Are you currently using the iPhone 8? Are you currently using the iPhone 10? Do you wish you had the 8 if you had the 10? Do you wish you had the 10 if you had the 8? Comment all your iPhone thoughts on the new iPhones in the comment section below. As always, I'll be reading them, favoriting, and replying to some of my favorites. So that's pretty much it. You know, it comes with all these accessories right here. Your basic unboxing video for the iPhone 8. Um, sister, I guess I could give that to you now. <laughs> Unboxing's over. Thanks. Yeah.